Our top finishing NASCAR Xfinity Series regular is Justin Algar. He comes in with a fifth place finish here today. He drives a number seven Suave Men Chevrolet for Junior Motorsports. And Justin certainly uh, battling it all day today, uh, that last uh, uh, overtime. Uh, talk about that and how that played out for you. Yeah, I mean, we had a, uh, a definitely a tough day. You know, our Suave Men Chevy wasn't nearly as good in practice as what we wanted to be. Um, and throughout the race, we, we fired off and, and, you know, maintained, but but really didn't have the, the sheer speed that we were looking for. And Jason Burdett and the boys did a great job uh, in the pits, you know, making good pit calls and, and adjustments on the car and then obviously having good pit stops. And, uh, you know, obviously coming down to the end of the race there, you know, Jason made a great call to put two tires on. As Austin said, you know, I think that was the right call. That was the, that was definitely the right call. Um, it just worked out that the, the the four tires prevailed, but you know we we were able to hang there and and get a good solid day out of it. Um, you know I think at the end of the day, anytime we can you know battle it out and, and keep learning on these mile and a halfs, we feel like that's our weakness at Junior Motorsports is the mile and a half program. So obviously Colton having a great day, uh, us getting a top five, and and Elliot being really fast until they had their issues early in the race. So feel good about where our company's at as a whole, and we'll definitely keep working on these Camaros and try to get them up there where we can battle for wins every week. Good deal. Questions for Justin? If you have one, raise your hand, please. Start right here on the fr excuse me, front row, and they'll go back to the gentleman there in the middle. Zach, it's very French touch. Um, when the oil was down in, in turns three and four, um, I don't know if you ran through it or not. Did you experience any issues with that incident? You know, the, the oil was weird because um, it was really hard to see today for whatever reason. And then when you would when you would get to it, you literally were right on top of it before you would see it. So um, I, I tried to do everything I could to miss it. Uh, I'm not going to say that I did a great job of it, but at the end of the day, I didn't lose any spots because of it. But I know that it was definitely interesting, you know, how much oil was down over the course of the day. Not not something that we would typically see at a mile and a half like this. So, you know, the track crew did a good job trying to work it in the best they could. It's just, you know, when you've got a hot, slippery racetrack that's already, um, you know, that that boiling hot, and and you're trying to put uh, hot oil on top of it, it just it just doesn't settle well. Go back to the middle there. Go ahead. Jacob Seelman, Race Chaser Online Performance Motorsports Network. I've kind of got a two-part question, Justin. Uh, part one, uh, as far as you guys and Junior Motorsports really being a, a new pairing together this year, uh, what are some of the the challenges and some of you know some of the good points too of uh, of you guys kind of having to learn to mesh, but at the same time going out and being able to contend for these top fives. Well, I think one of the things that's been a, a huge help for us this year is the integration of the chase. You know, that's been something that, that put uh, my crew chief, Jason Burdett, and I, and, and really my whole team, into a position where we don't necessarily have to feel like every week we have to finish, you know, those races and finish well. Um, we want to, obviously, that's the main goal. You want to win races. But you also have to get outside the box. We, we, we all talk about it. You know, obviously, the Gibbs organization is really, really strong right now, adding another win today. We're all chasing that. And, and I think from, from my standpoint, you know, we're, we're constantly pushing – um, you know, this weekend we kind of all three came with something a little bit different to try and make make things better. And, and I know that the guys back in the shop, <clears throat> they're they're working their tails off to try and make race cars better. A Chevrolet, the Hendrick Engine Department. I mean, everybody that that puts a hand on these cars is working really hard. So that's been the hardest part. It's just you know being a little bit behind from from the start of Daytona and, and trying to catch up. The good part is for me is I've got a great group of guys. I mean it. It honestly has been the the most seamless, easy transition that I've ever made into a into a race car. Uh, as far as just getting to know the guys and, and seeing how they work, and they they understand how I work. And I, I, when you're when you're happy and you're you're having fun and you're going out there and you're you're running well every week, it's easy to have everybody on board and to fire out of the box strong and to, and to have good finishes at the beginning. I feel like we all kind of we all kind of gelled really quickly because of it. So that made it made it really nice. And to build on that a little bit, uh, when, when that third car, the 88, when you come out and have somebody like Cole who jumps in in his second start and goes and beats you, runs fourth, does that kind of help you guys not only take some notes away but push you to be a little better when he jumps in and just goes like gangbusters? Well, I mean, obviously, um, Alex Bowman did it in the 88. Uh, a couple weeks ago at Dover did a great job, and, and Cole did a great job today. I mean, it, you know, the, the, the one thing for sure is that, that the 88 is, is – 
has been very strong this year. They they won at Daytona. They've they won at Richmond. I mean, they they have been the kind of the the front marker of our of our group. <clears throat> so watching these guys jump in and 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 run well is is not really a surprise to me, just because I know um, all the guys that are getting in. I know their backgrounds. I know how talented they are. And and I, I told Cole as soon as the race over, he did a great job today. I mean, he he was on it, um, no question. And and those guys did a great job. So. You know, I think Elliot would have been right there with us contending for, for a top five. And, and, you know, I think as a company, when you when you get into that grind of going every week and, and, and pushing each other uh, each and every week, you know, it, it is uh, sometimes, it, it can be sometimes hard to race every week and, and to, to not get stale or stagnant. And so having those guys come in and, and push us and, and, and we learn from them, I, I think it definitely helps the whole, the whole organization. Go over here to Chris. Chris Knight, catchhands.com. Justin, this is the first of 20 straight races in 21 weeks for the Xfinity Series. I think there's only one off weekend between now and uh, when, when you guys come back to, I think here, uh, actually it's in Kansas in October. How important is it? How, how important is this stretch not only for you guys, but for Junior Motorsports as an organization? Well, I mean, I, I think this stretch is something that, that you can make or break a season. And I know we talk about the chase all the time and, and getting down to those those final seven races. But, you know, this this middle part of the season, you know, you've got to keep cars in inventory. you got to make sure that your best pieces are on the racetrack. But you also have to manage those race cars because at the end of the day, you know, we only have so many bullets. And and so, you know, we're, we're trying to make sure that when we get to the chase, we, we have the best cars that we possibly can. The other part of that, though, is, like I said, R&D. You know, we're, we're, we're constantly trying to learn these these cars and learn new things. And, you know, adding bump stops this year, that's that's thrown everybody for a little bit of a curve. And, you know, there's so many so many variables that I think play into it that, that for us, this summer stretch, making sure that we maintain and, and also keep learning at the same time is going to be a big deal. So... You know, I, I, I'm relying on, on a great team for that. You know, Junior Motorsports has done a, a phenomenal job uh, in this series for the last number of years. I remember battling them in, in other teams when I was in the Xfinity Series and, and obviously uh, super pumped up to be a part of it. So I know these guys have what it takes to, to do that. It's just a matter of making sure that we, we do all the right things and, and when the chase rolls around that we're not completely worn out and all of our race cars aren't completely worn out. Well, Justin, congratulations on a strong showing, and, and certainly good luck the rest of the year, and uh, see you at Pocono. Sounds good. Thanks, guys. Thank you.